this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is essentially two plates. They're six inches long. And what I'm going to do is try to determine or answer a few questions. It's separated by an eighth of an inch, just like all the other plates. A lot of people are commenting on the fact they think that all you need is the length. I have been stating all along it's not probably the answer that there is a combination between the two. But anyway, we're going to find out how that works because I'm putting this in here. I'm going to put two plates in here, as you'll see. So what you're looking at here are the plates in distilled water. They're an eighth of an inch apart. There are two of them, positive and negative. Red is positive. Black is negative. It shouldn't matter in this case. And I'm going to hook it up and let's take a look and see what's going on. Okay, we've got power now. It's hooked to a 12 volt. Actually, it's a little over 12 volt battery. There's very little electrolyte in this for a reason. So we can see the dramatic results. If there's going to be any results, we're going to see it. With more electrolyte, you wouldn't be able to notice it. So, okay. This is what we get. with just going across the top. You can see the bubbles coming up there between the two. Again, the question was, do you actually need any width on the plate at all? There's going to be, in my estimation, a formula that allows you to have just, it's got to be just wide enough and just deep enough. So here you're watching. Again, the plates are an eighth of an inch by six inches of stainless steel. I will say it was an intriguing question. We'll look at it from the top if you like. I'm going to give it time enough for the place to be conditioned. But essentially you can see what's going on, I think. I really was curious and I really didn't know what to expect on this particular test. It's a neat idea, neat thought. There's a better picture, huh? Okay, so we've got two plates here, positive and negative, separated by an eighth of an inch. Starting to speed up a little bit. I'm going to give it plenty of time because I know I'll get plenty of email on this test experiment saying I did something wrong. On all experiments and all tests, there's always another way to do it and always another way to do it better. I never profess to be doing it the best way, but I believe what I'm showing you is straight up. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, this is the 
Aaron cell with two plates in it. They're six inches long, three inches down. It's six by three, spaced an eighth of an inch apart, positive and negative, the same as the other. We're going to hook it up. It's in the same distilled water. Same battery. The battery's going to be a little weaker, matter of fact. Set it up now. Let's see what happens. I don't think I have to tell you or translate these results. We'll give it a few minutes just like we did the other. Again, this is the Aaron cell. They're spaced an eighth of an inch apart, just like the other. Same across, only it's three inches on the side. I'll turn it off. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to comment to me, you can of course always send it to John Aarons at hydrogentaptap.com. That's John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. Or you can go to my site, hydrogentap.com, and see what I have out there. A lot of people are asking for instructions on how to build the iron cell themselves. There's a couple of videos, only three or four back from here, which I do take it apart and show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. I do believe if you get them from me, you're going to save yourself a heck of a lot of time and, and maybe even money. But at any rate, I think that was that was a pretty conclusive test. We're going to do it again. I'm going to start this. This is the Aaron cell, three by six, but there's only two plates. Normally, on the Aaron cell, there are 15 to 16 plates. Okay, for those of you still in doubt, what I'm going to do is turn this off now and take this out. And we'll put the other back in since the emails I'm going to get are going to be saying something like, well, now the water is perfect for it. So let's put the other one back in. The other one's in the same solution, which is lye and distilled water. Same setup. I'm going to hook up the leads now. There's only two plates, but they're the same width, spaced the same apart, one eighth of an inch. And we're hooked up now.